Tonight, um, I'm, again, I'm just so stirred by the word we just heard from Mario. I think it casts for us a vision of what God could do exponentially through us. So often in ministry, we can approach things from a mindset of scarcity or a mindset of abundance. My scarcity mentality right now, my personal story, uh, my wife asked me the other night, how much money have we spent on Israel this year? And the, the dollar total was really high. And I thought, as I was sitting at the table t this morning, I knew I was going to be talking to you about generosity. I thought, I can't give as much as my heart wants to give because I've already given so much. And then I had an idea. I thought, what would happen if I thought with a mindset of abundance? Not what I ha have or don't have, but about taking the heart that's in me and putting that into others. And so I pulled up my phone and I began looking at my networks of friends who love Israel. And I sent them a text. I said, tonight, I'm going to be giving an invitation for people to sow into the ministry of the Jerusalem prayer breakfast. And I would like you to partner with me in giving. And today, I've been receiving texts from friends all across the Pacific Northwest who want to contribute to the prayer breakfast and to further this ministry. And I thought, what would happen in this room if we thought exponentially, if we thought out of scarcity into abundance? Yes, there's something all of us could do tonight. All of us are true believers. We're passionately concerned about this. And tonight, I'm sure we can meet every financial need for the prayer breakfast here in New York. But what if we thought beyond? What if we thought exponential? What if we thought what God could do as overflow? So it, what is here in New York can overflow in our nation, overflow into the nations. So my inspiration for us all is think not only what can you give, but what could you and I inspire other people to give? One of the simple things that you and I have in our hand is our phone. We have our contacts list. We know people who love and care for Israel. And you and I could become a tool, a catalyst. The example we have of that is in the book of Romans, chapter 15, where Paul says to the believers that he's been collecting this offering for the Jewish people. And he says that the Gentiles were pleased to give. And he says they owe it to the Jews. For if the Gentiles have shared in the Jews spiritual blessings, they owe it to the Jews to share with them their material blessings. Often I say to our people, every time you sing, you sing in Hebrew because you use words like hallelujah. Every time you pray, you use speak in Hebrew because you use words like amen. Think of so much that we have received in faith as a gift from Israel. And Paul says, let that inspire our giving to the Jewish people. One of the greatest gifts that you and I can give to Israel, to the Jewish people, is awakening the conscience of the silent majority here in the United States. We see the surveys that say the majority of people in our nation are concerned and supporting of Israel, but it's events like this that cultivate the conscience. And so I encourage all of us to sow into this. And Albert, I think you'll be explaining the QR code. It's going to be up here on the screen to use that and perhaps take a picture of that and share that with others so that they can be part of this as well. God bless you as you give. Pastor Philip, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And uh, I would like to see the, the QR codes uh, and, uh, and uh, on these uh, screens. And I'm very, very thankful for all the help. This evening, all what we uh, will put together will go towards the event in Copenhagen. We want to secure the hotel. We may have to make the payments there. And uh, I really believe that uh, it is an, a, a very important time for Europe, very important time for European nations, and uh, so it's, it's God's call. 